In this video we are going to explain a summary of tattoos. More recently however there has been a revival in anchor tattoos and there are many new designs that are full of brilliant colors and new design motifs for anchor tattoos. There has been a revival in more traditional tattoos. As always history, symbolism and meaning provide an interesting overlap of cultures and times. If you are thinking about getting an anchor tattoo it helps to know the background on them and do some research to find out the different meaning and symbolism of anchor tattoos. Some common designs in ankle tattoos are a tribal symbol, a floral arrangement or an initial. An ankle tattoo can be small enough that it isn't noticeable unless the person is very close. Many professional women choose this type of tattoo because it isn't overbearing and at the same time it allows them to carry something personal on their bodies always. Once you have decided on a design and coloring for your ankle tattoos you'll want to visit a reputable establishment that does tattoos. Looking through the yellow pages is one route but if you know anyone who has a tattoo you should ask them about their experience. Quite often they'll be happy to share with you and they may recommend a place for you to visit. After deciding on a tattoo parlor you'll want to discuss with the artist your concept. If you come there without a design in mind they will be able to show you a range of images that you can choose from. Most people prefer a smaller design for ankle tattoos and if the artist feels that yours is too large, they will work with you to bring it down to a scale that is more appropriate. Getting a tattoo involves piercing the skin, and so there is going to be some pain involved, no matter how small the tattoo and no matter where it is on your body. The amount and type of pain experienced is highly variable depending on each individual's tolerance to and acceptance of pain. While tattooing, the needles puncture the skin at a very fast rate and at a variable depth. The outline is usually the most painful work, because the needles are being used to create a nice solid black line that will define the tattoo, and so it is inserted deeply and carefully to ensure complete and effective coverage. The shading is usually not as painful, but this also depends upon the depth of penetration and the desired effect. The pain you feel is generally as a slight burning or hot scratching sensation. Generally, the tattoo is more painful if applied to areas of the body where there is less muscle and fatty tissue covering bone, like wrists, ankles, chests, and other normally sensitive body areas. Upper arms are usually the least painful, while the ankles and sternum can be quite sensitive. The tattoo pain is certainly not unbearable, here are some tips for coping with and minimizing the pain. Find a reputable tattooist that you feel comfortable with to get the tattoo work done, the confidence you get from a tattooist can minimize your pain to the highest. Don't show up drunk or on drugs. Go in with some determination and accept the fact that a few hours of discomfort without giving the tattooist a hard time will help ensure that you get a first rate tattoo. If you feel you can't take the pain anymore, tell your tattooist. Take a short break or come back in a few days. Tattoos don't have to be applied all in one sitting. Break up your session if needed. Listen to music or let your imagination go wild during the procedure, a certain degree of distraction set by yourself will help you put less concentration on the pain.